tie it into one of the most anticipated matchups of the CFL season. It's Kevin Glenn and the Calgary Stampeders against Henry Burris and the Hamilton Tiger Cats, but a miserable night here in Hamilton. The weather not cooperating. And Sam Shagir deep as Rene Paradis kicks it off, and it will be Shagir from his 15. Early reputation that this offense is built and trying to live up to it. Stamps defense, third in many categories. There's a pass interference call. Quincy Butler. Forward pass interference. Calgary, number zero. First down. Brandon Smith. Second down. Bruce time. And the pass gets by Fantuz, who looks for a flag and gets it. Illegal contact on a receiver. Calgary, up 10 yards. First down. Ticats getting into the score zone. Flag down. Open man. Siobhan Walker touchdown, but is it coming back? It'll stand. It's an offside against Calgary. And Siobhan Walker has the opening touchdown of the night. Pressure's on Burris from the outside. Larry Taylor at his 48. Taylor trying to get outside. He's got the corner. Larry Taylor inside the tight at 30 and brought down at the 20-yard line. Larry Taylor with one of his best returns. It's a first down at the Hamilton 20. Cornish left side breaks through. John Cornish touchdown. And that's the John Cornish we're used to seeing. 20-yard touchdown gallop for Cornish and his fourth touchdown of the year. Gray Williams caught up in the hole in traffic. Away goes Cornish. Touchdown drought for the Stampeders. It was over five quarters old. Burrow steps up, finds a receiver over the middle, and the catch is made by Andy Fantuz, who's having a big night. Five receivers out. Walker stays in the block. The long out is caught. It'll be short of the first down as Steve Stalla steps out. Luca Kanji will come on to attempt a 43-yarder, longest of the year, 41. And Luca Kanji puts it through. Back to Cornish and over the middle. Rob Pote's got it. That's a different look. And Pote, the fullback, has his biggest play of the season. And a touchdown catch against Toronto. There's the direct snap to Larry Taylor. And here's Taylor with another first down to the 30. So Dave Dickinson is deeper into his playbook on this series. Cornish out. Pote comes in. Kevin Glenn, throwback, there's Cote, and he powers his way down to the two, but what will John Huffnagel do on third down and goal from what, a yard and a half out? Oh, Levi Mitchell comes in, third and the ball just inside the two. Slides up, touchdown. Bo Levi Mitchell has his third touchdown of the year. So second and 10. Burris complete. There's the youngster, Sherman Ocampo. Uh, this is a young man who's been one of the most prolific receivers in Canadian University football over the course of the last couple of years. And his first CFL receptions of first down, 17 yards, and it's lift off here, Siobhan Walker. Once he touchdown. One of the best ones of the year, and the Ticats have regained the lead. Was it a nice run, Chris? Because I blinked and missed it. The explosiveness of Siobhan Walker. All you need is to get him past that first level, and anything can happen. A bolt to the end zone. 47 yard rock. CFL leading seventh touchdown, is third on the ground. Rob Cote on the move, and now John Cornish gets a crease and look out. John Cornish down to the 30 yard line. So Cornish with an answer and a 28-yard run. First down, Sam Peters takes the Cornish. Glenn sets up and can't hook up with McDaniel, who was interfered with by D. Webb, and the flag flies. 14-yard advance for the Stampeders. Taylor in motion. Robbie Bryant the other way. What misdirection. Touchdown. All eyes on Taylor. Bryant takes it back the other way. Great play call from Dave Dickinson. Second and three. Cornish again. And he bounces it for a big game. Tripped up down around the 20-yard line as 
He adds to his numbers. You thought he scored a touchdown in the late stages of that season opener. There's Glenn into the end zone, and Marco McDaniel and Marillo tangled up when the flag flies. Accidental pass interference. Ten yard penalty. First down. The ball on the eight yard line. Dan Glenn short drop into the end zone. Touchdown. Nick Lewis has the touchdown, and Calgary expands their lead. Good separation from Tisdale, and there it is. Well, this one is over. The Stamps back to 500, and they drop the Hamilton Tiger Cats to 500 as well. As Calgary wins at 31-20, so long from Hamilton.